What a happy little. So I grew up around Nile monitors. Oh, yeah. Whoa. I would never freehold a dwarf like that in the wild. It would rip you to shreds. I want to show you something really cool when okay. it works. All right. So he comes, literally comes to his name. No way. Yeah. Like a dog. Come here. Come here. He didn't even get a chance to call you by name. He comes real quick. Oh, look he at that. He comes all over just to be petted. Oh, my goodness. I don't even feed him no more. That's I let everybody else feed him because he comes to me by, just like this. That is unbelievable. All the way over. I oh, my goodness, Jay. He loves you. Come here. Come on. You got to come all the way over here. I, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be easy. Come on. Come here. I literally do that to my dog. That's unreal that you can get away with that. <laughs> and he, I'll show you. Get away with it. Just <laughs> oh, let me do it over and over. It just keeps coming out. Right. Too. No food. Hey, buddy. If I do that, you're going to hammer me because you don't no, know. No, I won't. Me. No? Nope. He's that okay. chill? Yeah. <laughs> it's a slippy tongue. He might, he might smell that I have some chicken <laughs> around, but come here. That is unreal. Come there it is. Look at that slimer. And that he just sticks awesome. it. You know, people be like, oh, he doesn't like that. Well, why does he just pull it? He doesn't care. He's, he doesn't yeah. care. Uh -uh. Good I lizard. do this all the time. That's, That's like amazing. Hey, bud. We good? Yeah. Hey, buddy. One time I went to London Zoo, Komodo yeah. Dragon. Yeah. Came walking up to me. The guy goes, oh, just wants to be petted. Oh, you're Came joking. over, laid in my lap. It was the coolest. The first time I ever had a close-up experience with a Komodo. Well, I've seen your, I've seen your video from Komodo. Those are so all. I know, yeah. Those ones might not work out no, so well. No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> He's funny. He just loves you. He just doing? loves you. That's what it's all about. What a happy lizard. So I grew up around Nile monitors. Oh yeah. I grew up around Nile monitors. They are not friendly. Did you this see this food down there? Yeah. He knows I think you there. actually know there's some food around here. Gilly is. Gilly's amazing. Gilly wants some chicken. Come here. Gilly doesn't care. Gilly will come out ten times for me without food. Wow. That and is incredible. And probably in the same day. Gilly, wow. come on, back over Look at here. That. Like a dog. I'm not it's done. Like a dog. That's crazy. I'm not done with giving you attention. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Isn't that cool? Hi, it's nuts. Come on, head over here. Come on, you'll do Dad, it. Dad, look at this. Come on, come on, come on. Look, look at this. Come here, Gilly. Come on. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> People that don't effect. understand that reptiles no are way more sophisticated than we think they are. Yeah. People tell me snakes are, you know, snakes aren't very smart. Yeah. I have snakes that would come to me just like a dog. Oh, wow. I mean, wow. But that's the kind of experience you only learn that with your hands on. I don't care how many papers you read. You won't read. be finding that out in okay. the no. wild. <laughs> not in the wild and not in a laboratory. Yeah, I mean, it's just like people, right? Yeah. I have friends that people rather not even ever meet again. I have friends that everybody wants to hang yep, out with. Absolutely. Just the Individuals. way life is, right? Yeah. But he's just going back. He just going back to his thing because yep. I wasn't giving him enough attention. Yeah. Yeah. You, he <laughs> gave up I, on you. As yeah. soon as I could. My dog does the same thing when I get home. Yeah. <laughs> and he, the cool part is not like a cat. Right. He'll come every He time. wants more attention. Yeah. Very fun. Not something you see everywhere. Oh, I'm, I think it's incredible. Very, that's one thing I like to think my little tiny zoo is different. Is this we have animals and kids and touching. Oh, look at it. There's kids running around. Right. And I, my son's here somewhere running around. I didn't learn anything in school, unfortunately. Yeah. I'm not saying school ain't good. I was un unteachable. Yeah. I had, I, had a lot, I just had a lot of issues. I mean, and so. That's the way it goes, and so for me, when I got out and got to play with animals, I got to learn everything. Well, I just found there's a lot more people like me and your kids. Than Absolutely, dwarf cannon. Yeah, yeah. I bet you, I bet you caught a few of these in the wild. Hundreds, and they're and I don't believe you if you say this one's nice, because every dwarf cannon I've ever caught is nasty. Jay's, Jay's looking over there like I'm gonna, I'm gonna learn you something. That's how Jay's looking. Well, but, I always say, yeah, teach if me, you Jay. You can't teach me, and I can't teach you. We're probably not meant for each other. That's a good point. And no, I, mean, I love. This is why I love doing stuff with you, because I learn so much and you know what I, you know what I like about you you don't think you know everything oh i certainly don't <laughs> now the other day to be fair they weren't in the mood to eat i don't know if it was the big cameras or what oh this might be another day your red tail certainly looks ready to eat oh the red tails yeah watch this <laughs> here we go oh here we go oh that was a peacock bass <laughs> oh here comes a caiman Oh, I oh, can lift him right out. Yep. Yeah. Okay, Maybe come on. Nice. Here's what I want. Come on. So we're going to take the girl out. I like to let her walk away out. Sure. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. No, I'm not, you're not going in. Come on. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do this stuff. This is incredible. Whoa. I would never freehold a dwarf like that in the wild. It would rip you to shreds. Well, this Look one's still that. finishing eating. She does not even phase one bit. Nah. Not even one bit. No, I can set her. Settle down. Settle down. 
Come on, come on. She will, <laughs> she'll wiggle, and she has bitten me, but well, mostly. But she's not. She's mostly, not. Mostly, mostly because I was you. feeding the bass. Yeah. Paying attention to the bass, and she was paying attention to food, to food and got me, got me instead of the food. Wow. I, I kind so of got. How, let me ask you this, because dwarfs, dwarf came in our one crocodilian that you're allowed to keep in California. Uh, no. You're not allowed. Absolutely to. not. Oh. At least a third of the purpose for me to have animals here is for me to have. Good animals that sure. I can pull out. Education can... animals. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And I want them to be, you're 100% right. That's I have a scar right. on my arm from one that I was going to get from San Antonio Aquarium. Yeah. And I was tired and I thought, okay. And they said, oh, I almost got you. And I go, and they go, we'll have to come back and make that video. Yeah. And we were walking out and I said, oh, I don't, I'm done. And he goes, what about the cayman? I'm, like, I'm done. Yeah. Oh, come on, let's do the cayman. That's when it happened. It happened. Wow. Yeah. Smoked my arm. I needed stitches. stitches yeah. And I was just like, you got any stitches? And they're like, let me call the vet. Vet's like, I ain't going to give you stitches. <laughs> I'm trying to sew himself. So I ended up missing dinner. Hey, girl, relax. Now, she's a little bit hyper. It takes a couple minutes for her to wiggle her wiggles out. I got a know? kid like that. Yeah, yeah. we're all that way. <laughs> you know, these are the most aggressive animals in the wild. They are the worst. They are literally. I'd rather take on a 12 foot black caiman than a dwarf caiman this you size. Know, it's funny day. you say that. You know Savannah Bowen. She works yeah, over at Uh huh. What was the most, what's the animal that scares you the most? Dwarf caiman. And she plays no with question. giant crocs. Yeah. <laughs> huge, huge salties, yeah. niles, whatever. These things are notoriously the meanest animals to deal with. Yeah. You're it's cuddling it like a teddy bear. And the funny part is, is the other one's even tamer. You want to hold him? Oh, like, sure, yeah. Yeah, you got to give him a little bit of support. Get give him a lot here. of belly support. There you go. And there you go. There you go. Now got you it. got a picture where the dwarf came in. There we go. When yeah. she said it, they scare her the most, I held my arm up. One of the only scars I got, yeah. baby. I'm, <laughs> dwarf I'm, still, I'm more nervous now than I have been the whole time driving down the 405. Because <laughs> I know how mean these things get me. That bass is just, that bass is just, all he wants to do is eat. Why are you hissing? No hissing. Dad's over there. Don't get, don't get, don't get gnarly with me. I'm scared of you. I'm scared of, more scared of this little thing than I am of these giant ones. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. We get wet in the first three rows. I was just gonna pull them out, make a cool picture. That's all good. Good thing is. I have another set of clothes so we can finish this. You're good. Out. Don't know. I'm not worried about it, Chip. Well, we got the fly river at least eating some chicken. The bass probably gave it up. I fish for peacock bass in the Amazon. They're so insane. The catfish wants some. Here we go. We'll feed this catfish. I'm just sitting here with this rag doll crocodilian. Oh. <laughs> they're crazy. They're this thing. <laughs> You're there not a guy. There we go. There we go. So, there you go. Two dwarf caimans that are mellow. Nah, Dad's he's giving fine. me a cuddle. <laughs> this one's about to take a nap. This is insane, Jay. <laughs> That's some fun. This is crazy. Living Absolutely the, crazy. Living the dream gets you out there on the edge.